So you guys wanted a Lightroom tutorial? Well, here it is. Hey guys, Angit here and this is an interesting video. This was fun to make and it was requested a lot. So a lot of you wanted to know how to edit like Brandon Wolfel and some of you just simply wanted Lightroom tutorials. So why not make it into one video, how to edit like Brandon Wolfel. So I did this shoot recently with one of my friends Dakshita and a huge thanks to her for making this video possible. Be sure to check out her Instagram and talking about Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram for these pictures as well. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first picture we have here is something we clicked at the highway. So this is literally on the highway and we had to click it really soon because it was getting awkward for her standing with all fairy lights around her. And there were a few auto rickshaws at the background. So it was awkward, but we got a pretty decent shot. Now this is edited. I'm going to show you how you can make this. Before we do that, let's see the original. So as you can see on the left, we have the original file. On the right, we have the edited file. And I am shooting all of this on a Sony A6300 with a Canon 50mm 1.8 and all of these files are in RAW. So you can see right here that I have all the files in RAW. So let's reset the image firstly and this is what we get to begin with. The first thing with any brand Wolfel image is the temperature. They're always towards the cooler side. So let's go ahead and do just that first. So somewhere around this point is pretty decent for me. I like this stone firstly. Now I'm gonna give this a tint, maybe plus 40 works for me. Contrast also will come to later. Next we might just go to the highlights and highlights I might take up by SA 50. So I like that look. And next what I like doing is taking my shadows a little higher. So maybe up to 72. And then my whites to 90, and my blacks to minus 27. So as of now, you can see the picture looks already quite dreamy, but this is not the look we're going in for. So again, I don't usually play with clarity, but for the Brandon Wolf images, there is a touch of clarity in them. So again, I think I'll go in for a plus 55. Let's take 55. So. It's a little sharp as of now, but eventually it will look pretty decent. We have slight noise here, but we can fix that later. So vibrance, I would go to minus seven. Now let's come over to this dial. Now this is where the magic happens. So I'm gonna crush the black slightly, maybe right about here. So I'm gonna bring slight shadows back and maybe some in the highlights. So this is kind of an S curve, not entirely. So this is the basic look I'm going in for right now. Now, right here we come to the HSL tool and I guess we're gonna play around a bit with all the colors. So I can use this tool, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna quickly change around the colors slightly, get the tint I want. So again, I get an overall teal look to the image. So this is pretty much as of now what a Brandon Wolf look would look like. Now coming to saturation, I'm going to take my oranges slightly up, maybe the point of 22. So once that is done, I simply head over to my split toning and I change stuff around there. Once I'm done with my split toning, I simply come over to the sharpening section. I usually take my sharpening up to little more than 40. So this is the image we've managed to create by now. I think it looks pretty good as it is. Just maybe add a bit contrast in here of maybe plus 20. I like that. So I like this image as it is right now. Maybe I'm just going to crush the shadows just a bit more. And the last touch I usually like to do is add a vignette. Minus 15 works for me. And by this point, I really, really like the image. This is the look I am going in for. So again, I redid the entire image and this is what I like. It can be different for you, but this is just my version of doing it. I'm happy with this image and the way it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now from here onwards, you can simply just copy the effects if you want and paste them on another image if they're of the same family. So that's basically how I would edit this picture and let me know what you think in the comments. How is this photograph? And be sure to check it out on Instagram soon after I upload this video. So using the same rules, let's look at a few more images that I edited with the same batch. So here's another image and on the left you can see the unedited file, on the right it's edited. 
So here's another image unedited on the left and edited on the right. I simply just had to copy the effects and tweak it ever so slightly from the last image. And you can do the same. And that's it for this video. If it helped you, be sure to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Share this. Share this as much as you can. And I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching, guys.